Okay, guys, with our Fit Friday today, I thought I would talk a little bit um, about the difference between static and dynamic stretching. And there seems to be a lot of controversy and questions that come up. People ask, you know, us, when should we stretch? Should we stretch before or after? Um, how should I get ready for my workout? What is best? Um, so I'll just explain the difference between a static stretch is a held stretch. So for example, a static stretch for your hamstring, I would just be holding a stretch for a sustained period of time, like maybe 60 seconds or more. So a long held stretch, that's a static stretch. A dynamic stretch for my hamstring would be to move in and out of that through a range of motion. So you're moving a joint through a range of motion without holding that position. Sort of visiting it, saying hello, and then moving away and back into that. So the science behind these two would speak to that um, dynamic stretching before your lifting sessions is what enhances performance. Static stretching can be done. You could do some longer holds so long as they were followed with some dynamic movement prior to your lift. So that's what we would recommend for you guys is to do more of a dynamic warm up. So moving and finding places, going through some of the exercises, mimicking them, step back lunges instead of a weighted lunge. You know, doing some side to side lateral movement and visiting those places and not holding it for a long time before your workout. So there's lots of ways to stretch. Lots of benefit to stretching. When people do look to do these things, they often remember their large muscle groups and then get going and they kind of forget the small muscle groups. So you've got to remember things like your shoulders. Okay, there's lots of shoulder injuries out there. So probably one of the most underrated uh, exercises for your upper body is a simple dynamic warm-up for your shoulders. It can be done without any body weight. And I call it the YTWL. Uh, movement series for your shoulders and we're going to go through that and give you a little demo on that. It's a great thing to add in. You don't need any weight. You can do 10 to 20 reps um, of each of those four movements. Okay, so to go through this um, shoulder warm-up for you guys, you're going to probably use an incline bench if you have it. If you don't have it, I will show what you can do as an alternative. It's about 45 degrees. And you're going to straddle the bench and lay down long so that you're basically standing on an angle. And you don't want to, um, even if you're tired, you don't want this going on. You want to have a bit of a prouder chest, pull your shoulders back. Um, and it's the first movement is thumbs up because you're okay. Try to keep your neck long, not gripping at the back of your neck. And the Y works your lower traps. So this movement here, again, you're going to do 10 to 20 of them. And then you're going to move to the T. The T works your rear delt. And again, try to stay neutral in your neck. Yeah. And then you're going to move into a W shape. So you're making like the letter W. This works the mid back. Okay, so a W shape here. And the last one works the rotator cuff muscles. So you're doing like an L shape. Make your arm like an L and lower down. So lifting and lowering. And you can actually just stay in the L shape as well. So all of these exercises, 10 to 20 reps, see how that fatigues and warms you up. If you don't have the incline bench, you can do this at home. You're gonna keep your heart higher than the zipper of your pants. Try not to grip the back of your neck and you can do it just in that bent over, um, chest lifted position, like so. So the Y, the T, right here, and the W, you got it, and then the L, good. You can stay with the L, or you can come out of it and sweep through with that L shape. <laughs> good job, have fun with those, warm yourselves up and have a good workout.